I've been pretty fortunate to travel around the northern part of North America in the last 10 years. I think they're pretty neat animals. Muskox, caribou, grizzly bears, polar bears, white-tailed deer, and a variety of other species. But one animal that I love hunting every single year more than anything else is the Canadian bull moose. When getting in an aircraft and flying into our area, it quickly becomes evident why there is so little hunting pressure. There's no roads, no cut lines, and only a few places where you can put down an airplane or a helicopter. This makes our hunting area extremely special because we are the only ones in here. Adventure Northwest has been hunting bull moose on the Yates River and the White Sands River since 2012. We have been very successful in doing so and pride ourselves in being one of the elite outfitters for Canadian bull moose. It's no secret that Northern British Columbia is often looked at as the epicenter of big Canadian bull moose hunting. And for that reason, Alberta is often overlooked. However, there's a few hidden gems in Northern Alberta and our camp is one of them. Tucked away only six miles south of the Northwest Territories border and 30 miles from the nearest road, this virtually unhunted, unaccessible area is incredible. Packed full of big Canadian bulls. With the Canadian border shut down during the COVID crisis, my good friend Chris Maxwell from Calgary, Alberta decided to join us for a moose hunt in 2020. That is unbelievable. Now I'm not one to believe in luck, but every time Chris Maxwell hunts with me, he succeeds in killing a boon crocodile animal. He had a muskox with me in 2016 and black bear with me in 2014. Half an hour after this bull went down, nobody had touched the knife. We stood there admiring the size and beauty of this big animal and wondered how many cows he'd seen, how many cows he'd bred, and how far back his genetics had been passed on. It was one of the coolest experiences of my hunting career. Standing under the starry sky with friends on a last minute moose hunt.
We knew the bull was big, but we didn't know if he was big enough to make Boone Crockett. The next morning, over a cup of coffee, we put a tape on him. We quickly realized that we had a net Boone and Crockett, 200 inch bull moose. Yeah, that's right. Quarter. 